Leo, hello. <laughs> Welcome to your energetic forecast for November 13th through the 19th of 2022. Let's start with your male outgoing energy, your young energy, your passions, what lights you up, the Knight of Wands. Well, you'll certainly be active with this card. This is a bit of an erratic energy, but it is the charming <laughs> knight that comes in and wants to woo. Yes, that's my feeling. There's a lot of passion behind this person. Um, sometimes they can be players, but not always. It's just passion. So there's nothing wrong with that. But there is a lot of movement with this, a lot of energetic movement. So I do feel like there is some fire from within that's going to be coming out. Um, let's see how this is going to play out. It seems a little too simplistic for me, but let's get some extra information. Ooh, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Nice. So this is going to go towards a seed that you are planting. Really nice energy behind this um, new thing that is possibly being offered to you or you offering it to somebody else. It doesn't really matter because it's new and it's um, a firm, nice seed that if you plant now, you can uh, it can grow into a nice money tree later. Uh, it's obviously a very fertile energy, this is. Um, the Ace of Pentacles is my spring card. You may want things to go a lot quicker than that, but I would say we are moving towards the energy of spring. It's not that far away, and boy, is time going quick. So um, it looks very, very nice. You're putting a lot of energy behind something that's new. And I know that you want it to go quicker, but it's not going to. <laughs> okay, this is your female yin energy, your emotional magnetic energy, and you have the Knight of Cups. So, yes, this is very um, amorous energy. It is, and so both of them, huh? Could, <laughs> there is this kind of cheeky player-like energy with this with both of these cards very interesting but there can be an emotional message that comes in for you um i would say be careful of drinking too much with the knight of cups he likes a good time he can be the guy on the or the girl on the table with the lampshade on their head kind of energy um, doesn't have to be but it's very playful and it's very fun and um it's quite nice. I do feel like there's going to be some information coming in because those, the wings on his helmet really come out to me, and so that always reminds me of Mercury, and that is messages. Yeah, um, you have the Knight of of Knight of Cups, so that's double, two Knights of Cups. So wow, um, I'm going to get another card for that because it's just doubling down on what I just said. Uh, three of Wands. Hmm. These are people and situations that are uh, allies. And um, you may, I don't know if you're looking for somebody to help you in this new uh, situation that you might be looking to plant, but you will certainly find them with, within this Knight of Cups. And it can be people that you're offering something to. It's a very heartfelt offer. It's nice. It's, the, it's really nice. And, it, and there's a very creative energy behind this. So with these people and with your allies, and maybe you're the ally here, it's very possible. I do see a lot of information going back and forth between these two nights. And while they're going in opposite directions, um, that opposition just might be the missing piece to uh, the situation that you want to move further into or through. Interesting. Okay, let's have a look at your... Um, so there's a lot of movement. I'm just going to say there's a lot of movement, especially towards the beginning of the week. Your mental energy. Let's have a look at your mental energy. It's often very challenging because the swords are, but um, that's because we need to keep our thoughts in check. You have the five of swords, which is the most difficult um, card for me in the deck, in the entire deck, not alone, not, uh, not let alone the the swords. It's a, a no-win situation, which is quite a big 
difference from what's happening here on an internal emotional and electric energy so it's a it's a very difficult card this it's it's saying that um your your words have impact and it's always advised to take the high road with this uh card but it can be people and situations arguments fights it can be it's like i said it's a no in situation and even if you are the victor here it doesn't feel like a victory because people are hurt because you know not everybody got something out of this in a good way um it brings mental instability and it's it's the card of humiliation so it's it's quite a difficult card so i would say watch your words your words have an impact you have the ace of wands here with this card so this is a new passion and you know we are referring back to here where there's a very passionate beginning and um maybe there's a wrench thrown in towards the latter part of the week that you weren't expecting and uh it's a, it's a new emotional path to go on a new idea that has some energy behind it but it um it comes with the 5 of swords How, what a strange combination i'm going to get another card for that i need more clarity ah the queen of swords mm So the Queen of Swords can speak very harshly. I will put it that way. Um, she believes in honesty and she doesn't hold back. In another deck of mine, she has a man's severed head in her hands. So she can cut people and situations off uh, without a blink of an eye if it doesn't um, if it doesn't meet her standards or her way of thinking. Uh, that kind of energy so i think maybe passions can or it feels like passions can get squelched at the at some point in this situation let's see let's go a little bit further and see what else is going on here that's that's quite difficult you know you could be over analyzing situations is my feeling here um maybe it's kind of like you get a little bit ahead of yourself in a romantic situation and all these thoughts start playing out in your head and you could even stop yourself from going forward because the only thing you can see is something difficult or negative in the uh in the situation yeah your physical or your financial is the 4 of pentacles so this is this feeling of holding back um it's taking a really staunch attitude it's not really it's not you can't bend in the situation which goes completely along with the queen of swords and the 5 of swords so in this new passionate sort of beginning there's this feeling that you won't bend or you can't bend on a mental level and this can cause some friction this can cause some difficulty I'm going to get another card for that Leo Okay you have the queen of wands So you have a couple of people around you who could be causing some difficulty and this could be later in the week very possibly I think with the queen of wands and the four of pentacles you just hold back your passion then something was said that I think really has you pull back and you know this is just a week so things could be righted things could be changed but yeah i feel like something has been said that uh, can't be taken back and um so it causes you to close up you 
your spiritual energy. Let's have a look at that. And again, the Queen of Wands is your energy. It's the Leo card for me. Now, you have the Sun. Also a Leo card for me. Um, it's the Sun, but uh, Leo is the Sun King, so... Such a contradiction. I mean, your spirit is like the inner child. It's open and free, and it wants to socialize and be out there and have a great time and um, uh, really be the spotlight. Um, but I would say with this card, there is something that comes to light here for you. It's illuminated, and it definitely has something to do with, uh, with this Queen of Swords. This can be on, on this. This can be on a work level with the Four of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. So this doesn't have to be romantic. Although I do feel some romantic energy here on an emotional level, it can be quite separate from what's going on over here with the uh, Four of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. You have the Star card that goes along with this. So there are two major arcana, which is telling me that um, on a spiritual level, uh, you're good. It's not you. I don't think it's you. I really don't. I think it's coming from somebody else. Maybe some harsh words cause you to do or say something you would not normally do. Um, but the sun means that it's kind of that inner child. And the star says there's hope for the future. And that the future looks quite bright. So don't let this pull you back into anything negative or another negative stance. Be your Leo self. Be magnanimous. Be that healing person. Give of yourself. Give of your energy. Um, you know, one bad apple kind of thing. But also I would say, mind your words. They have an impact. And it could be something that you may not be able to take back. And even if that's, you know, if, if even if the other person started it, um, that Five of Swords is telling me that uh, it will be really hard to reconcile after that. Whether it's a business partner or a, a, um, a friend, a co-worker, or a, a love interest, or a spouse. Okay, but I mean, ending on the sun and the stars is the most beautiful. It's night and day. It's both <laughs> ends covered. Um, there's hope for the future. And um, you're being led somewhere. And your situation is really under a lucky star. So that ace of pentacles is something you should pursue. And I think it will turn out wonderfully if you let it. All right. I'm going to leave you with that, Leo. Uh, thank you for listening. I am doing dailies now, so they're just a quick 30 to 50 minute clip of uh, what the day might bring you. And I hope you enjoy it. I really am enjoying doing it. Okay, thank you. Talk to you next week with the new moon reading. And if you like this, uh, please share, subscribe, like, you know, all of the above. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.